And our next speaker is Jack Newton. Uh, talking about everything you need to know, you can learn from Zappos. All right. You Thanks, Matt. Ready? All right, go for it. All right, so last year, Richard Susskind, I think it's fair to say, scared the hell out of everyone talking about the future of law and the end of lawyers. He talked about unbundling of law, legal services, increased competition, disruptive changes in information technology, uh, eventually increasing the amount of commoditization in the legal services market. But the legal market that Susskind talks about is really no different than any other market. We have a value or, or very economical layer of uh, products that aren't differentiated from each other. They're very value-based, um, and they might trade off quality and service for price. So this is the bottom tier of the market that you can choose to compete in. We also have the mid-market that's full of brands that we all use on a day-to-day -day basis, like GM, Dell, products from Amazon.com. This is what Wired calls uh, the good enough revolution. There's a lot of great products in this category, but they're really just good enough. They're not standing out in any special way. And finally, we have at a top end of the market some products from, from companies like BMW, Apple, and Zappos that have managed to pull themselves out and differentiate themselves from this mid-market and really stand out in some way. With BMW, it's with driving. With Apple, it's with design. And what I'm going to talk about today is what Zappos is doing that I think all of us with any kind of business can do. So for those of you that don't know, what does Zappos do? They sell one of the biggest commodity products out there, which is shoes. But they've managed to just focus on selling shoes but doing one other thing really, really well to differentiate themselves from all of the other competitors on the internet and bricks and mortar. And they're doing this by doing one thing and focusing the, the entire company on one thing. And that's do, delivering surprisingly good customer service. Not just good customer service, but great customer service that leaves their customers in awe about what they're doing. So just a few examples of what they do on a day-to-day -day basis. They under-promise and over-deliver. They actually tell every customer that they're shipping their shoes to them four-day shipping and then FedEx it overnight to them so that they're delighted with a surprise the next day when they get their shoes three days earlier than they expected. All of their frontline employees are empowered with one mission, and that's to satisfy and delight customers. There's no call timers. They encourage their entire customer base to connect with their customers on Twitter, on Facebook, all sorts of social media, and build a deeper connection than other companies can. And amazingly, they'll actually refer customers to competitors if they don't happen to stock an item that, the comp that Zappos carries. So they're really delivering a different kind of experience than most companies can deliver. And Tony Shea, the CEO of Zappos, frames it in a really interesting way. He says that Zappos is a service company that happens to sell shoes. And I think what's really interesting about this, and with something Tony has said himself, is that Zappos might someday run an airline because their brand is based on service. They've done this not with a set of mottos and value statements that everyone ignores. After all, Enron has their, or had their you know, value statements etched into marble in their front lobby. They built a culture book. They built their entire culture around delivering amazing customer service. Their hiring process is super selective. They will interview hundreds of candidates for one position just to find that one candidate that jumps out as somebody that could really contribute to the Zappos culture and is a good fit with how the rest of the company feels about culture. Something that's really amazing about Zappos that I find pretty amazing is that they put all of their employees through a five-week training program before they ever hit the phones or deal with a customer. And they actually offer every single one of their employees $2,000, every trainee $2,000 to quit at the end of the training program. And they'll, no questions asked, take the money and go. And if they take the money, the company figures they've saved money because they're not a good fit. So in a highly commoditized market, has this service equation delivered value for Zappos? They found it in 2000 in a market where everyone said they would fail, you can't sell shoes online. And in 2008, they were doing $1 billion a year in revenues selling shoes online. And last year, they got bought by Amazon. 75% of Zappos sales are from return customers, which is truly amazing. Their customers are coming back time and time again. 43% of their customers are coming via word of mouth referrals, so they don't need to pay for expensive marketing. And new customers spend 30% less than uh, returning customers at the site. So the customers that come back spend more than other customers. And why is this working for them? Why is this delivering value to their bottom line? 
The fact of the matter is, is that they're doing something really simple and effective, and that's turning their customer base into evangelists. They're turning basically somebody that loves your company enough that they'll tell other people about it will be the most powerful sales force you could ever hope for. You can cancel your Yellow Pages ad and do this one thing really well, and you'll, you'll be receiving referral customers, and they won't be asking about price when they walk in the door. So what's the one lesson we can learn from, from Zappos? I think it's that everyone is focused on competing on price, and we see all sorts of services and products being delivered across a broad pricing range, but they're not focusing on service and figuring a way of pulling themselves out of the fray by delivering something truly exceptional that stands out from the crowd. So for the legal profession, you can think about the kind of change that Zappos has, has made competing in a, in a highly commoditized market um, and, and deliver value through customer service and you'll get referral customers that aren't looking you up in the phone book and calling you as well as a dozen other lawyers to get a quote on price. How do you do this? How do you focus on customer service and really delivering a, a, an experience that delights? You have to put yourself in your customer's shoes and look at every interaction with a customer as an opportunity to, on one end of the equation, do something that merely satisfies them, and on the other end of the spectrum, do something that truly delights them. So back to the slide I started with, one of the reasons you don't want to target the middle is that the middle is getting squeezed out by the bottom and the top end of the market. We're going to see what Susskind was talking about in his presentation with the increased commoditization of legal services as really dominant, the, the low end of the market will be expanding, the mid-range of the market will be shrinking, and the top end of the market will be, um, will be uh, growing. The bottom end of the market is not a place you want to be trying to compete. You have to turn your law office into a factory to compete effectively at the bottom end. The mid-range is shrinking, and the top end, just by doing one or two things really, really well, and I think customer service is one of the easiest ways to do that, you can put yourself in the same top tier as the BMWs, Apples, and Zappos of the world and deliver a, a customer service experience that makes, your, makes you stand out. So back to the quote from Tony from Zappos. I think one of the things that you can do to reframe the way you look at your law firm and the way you train your employees and the way you have all your staff deal with your customers and prospective clients is by looking at your law firm as a service company that happens to sell legal advice. Thank you.